Welcome. To Arcade Audio. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Dilltown Paul. I'm Johnny. I'm Spencer. Here on Dilltown Paul, we go into Wikipedia. We click random article. And we talk about it. Yeah, we do. Yabba dabba doo. My favorite little game to mm. play that no one knows about, but they will now, mm -hmm. is to see how by surprise I can catch you <laughs> when I start the episode. <laughs> it's very fun for me. That's all. Also, mm. that's not all. We have... Available now. Get them while they're hot. Oh boy, Devil's Christmas T-shirts. Devil's Christmas T-shirts. If, if you order them now, they might they might get to you before Christmas. We can't guarantee it. You're kind of pushing it. You know you are. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that's nobody's fault but your own. Yeah, it's a very great. We've been design. talking about them. It's a very great design. Uh, thanks to uh, I, oh, what's her what's her handle? Angry Artist one one three. Is it? That's what I wanted to say too. But I'm not sure. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, you look it up, and then I'll delete all of it. And, and make sure make sure to. Check our Twitter every so often, or check our Arcade Audio's Twitter every so often. We 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 uh, have promo codes, um, maybe like one every every couple of weeks. So if you don't want to spend the money on the Devil's Christmas T-shirt, but you'd be willing to spend eighty percent on Devil's Christmas T-shirt, check it out. Check it out. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, her name is Jess, and her handle is Angry Artist One One Three. We were right. Yeah. Uh, she also great. does commissions all the time for yes. like advertising stuff. She's she's fantastic. She drew the design. It's great. Everyone loves her. Um. When when she when I was like telling her the the design because you you oh, drew, yes. you drew like a a version of it that we yeah, needed a professional to do yeah I drew the, what do you call that like the uh, a mock up a mock up she to get some some clarification because I drew a little in my youth yeah to, to the the clarification that she asked is she she said do you want it to skew more scary or more spoopy. <laughs> And our answer was, which the fact that she asked that, we knew that we talked to the right person. That's how you know she, she knows what's up. Um, and this was this was the answer. I think more spoopy, like in a nice, cozy, warm way. But also, there's a skeleton tree. Seventy five percent Charlie Brown, twenty five percent black metal album. And that's exactly what you're going to get with these. That is Christmas exactly what you're going to get. It's very good. So check them out, or don't. That's fine. You can check them out. It doesn't cost any money. Whew, looking's free. Yeah, looking's free. Free smells. Mm -hmm. That's a guaranteed funny, to be no smells. That's a funny sign for jimmy jones yeah too bad that he's a piece of shit huh is he yeah well i mean you could have just guessed i mean roll the dice <laughs> you know that's Fuck. a safe bet not that i, I mean not that i'm going to jimmy john's all the time or whatever no neither am i like, i mean the food's not even that great it's very fast it's freaky fast he's one of those big game hunter types jesus yeah. christ well, well, I mean, well where are they get... gonna get the meat <laughs> <laughs> it's freaky fast because it's cheetah meat <laughs> wow mm, need some of that cheetah meat mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, mm. uh, I couldn't, I mean, I don't like killing bugs, you know? Yeah. Well, where else are you going to get your umbrella stand if you don't kill these elephants? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty I fucked got, up. I, got, I use the whole elephant. I got four umbrella stands. One umbrella, though. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Well, you got one at each corner of your house, so. Mm -hmm. Feng shui. And um, the, the, the. Noble and most ancient house of black, uh -huh. thirteen Grimald Place. Uh -huh. Is it thirteen? It's got to be. 13. It's got to be right. Um, th they they have a, a an umbrella um, holder that is a troll foot. Oh wow, that's I for, I didn't remember that. Is it thirteen? It's got to be. Or it, you might be thinking of the uh, monsters. Thirteen, thirteen, 13. Mockingbird yeah. Lane. How many times is that going to come up? Oh, in this for month? for a long time. Yeah, for a very long time. One of us just read about that like a month ago and just keep bringing <laughs> we can't, it up. Yeah. <laughs> Is it 15 Grimald Place? I, it needs to be 13 is the thing. I feel like it's Do not. Do you think that they would change the Harry Potter stuff in other countries? Like in Japan, 13 is not an unlucky number. Would they make it like four, seven or whatever? Oh, four, I think is the, the death interesting. number. There's, there's two unlucky numbers. I don't remember which. Or I might be thinking of China that has two. But regardless, Japan certainly has one. And I believe it's four. Because it also sounds like the word for death. That's so interesting. Which is why there's two different ways to say four. There's the... There's the one that sounds like death and the one that sounds like nothing. Yon or she? Why? Why not just oh, always use the one really. that doesn't sound like death? I, I don't have a good answer for you. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, that is, I don't know. I don't know. That's a really good question yeah, though. I don't know either. Probably not, honestly. It'd be cool though. It would be cool. But, but then it's, part of it is like. Well, if you were, <clears throat> it's the difference between translation and localization. Yes. You know? Well, J.K. Rowling was actually against localizing for the U.S. 
Did you know that? No. Why? As the because she was like she's a bigot. She no. She was like everyone knows that. Ron. <laughs> Ron. Like the thing she specifically says, like Ron doesn't have a mom; he has a mum. Like, well, well, that's fine. Well, they're British wizards, right? That's but that's the thing is in the early as the books went on, they did it less and less. But as the uh, early in the oh, books, it was like Ron would say, "My mom," I see, and they would say like, uh, "Check my schedule instead of timetable and sweater instead of jumper." Uh huh. Uh-huh. But then as the books went on, she was like, "They're it's in England. They're British, yeah." So, yeah. I, I think things like well, yeah, so it's, but, but then, it's easy when it's American English versus British English. But, but then if it's in J- if it's in Japan, are they gonna? Well, they're they're still the, British and, wizards, right? And Harry Potter is not saying mum. He would be saying whatever the Japanese word for mum is, which is maybe haha. Right, right. You know, I wonder what. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure in in um, the French. I read the French version. Yeah. But I don't remember. But I'm sure. I I am almost certain that Ron would say mare and not mama, which is like. So the word is he would be saying mother basically, or yeah, instead okay. of like mama is more like, and I'm not saying like it a baby. the right way, not like a baby, but it's it's the difference between like, it's almost like mommy. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Sort like a younger of, child might say it. Sort of. Okay. Um. Yeah, I understand it's not a one to one. Or it's it's like a it's a it's a more like personal or intimate way to say it. Like like okay. um But like you wouldn't say it about your mom to your friend. Right. Like but yeah, I'm going back to my mommy's place. Yeah. yeah. You're like what? Um but, That's my mommy's car. But <laughs> that sounds very <laughs> funny. Also, I like when I'm talking to my sister, I, I will refer to we both refer to our parents as mommy and daddy. Uh-huh. But like when I'm talking to you, I, yeah, would, I yeah, say you would never, my dad or my right. mom, and I don't know why we both do that. It is very interesting. I don't and know. my, I know my dad also does that. He so like about his parents. Yeah, if he's like talking to his brothers or sisters, he'll be like, "Oh yeah, well, did you go? Uh, you were at mommy's place." And I don't, I don't know why. That's so strange. Yeah, yeah, I don't know either. I don't know. I know. That, we both need to learn one language fluently so we could read Harry Potter and just see what the differences are, <laughs> and we'll we'll be back in 25 years. There was there was some some fun stuff in the French version and then some bad it, it was a not great translation yeah that stinks it was a tr- it was a translation yeah. and not a localization and you would think with French like they, they do a good job you know they're, like they're, it feels like one of the easier ones you know like if I'm sure hip hop has been translated into like 40 different languages oh at, I mean every right so you think that there'd be one one dude or you know whatever who knows French and English very well you know yeah i mean there are some fun puns which i i have talked about a million times on this fucking show yeah, sure. like the schwapo instead of the sorting hat yeah like stuff like that that's great but then the book is called harry potter at wizard school and that's just a, that's just <laughs> ridiculous i they might get better it might be the kind of thing where they're like oh you this is to... this is just some fucking kids book who cares and right, I was like, right oh actually the fucking so, kids book. so we need like a 2020 edition that'd be so they, cool yeah. like hey we did a good job this time yeah, that'd be great. That'd be really great. Yeah, I I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of um kids in other places um just read the English version. Yeah, I could see that. It's it's hard <clears throat> for me to find a Japanese version of um the books beyond the first book. Mm-hmm. I maybe need to look on like Japanese Amazon or something or like a Japanese bookstore website. I don't know what. Sure, I I have a because a... my Amazon has like the like the first edition or the first book easy to find. Mm-hmm. The other one's not so much. I have a friend. Who is uh, uh, does does role playing games and mm. lives in Sweden? Okay, and I th- I think I've already told you this, but when they play like Dungeons and Dragons, they'll uh, speak Swedish. Okay, and then when they play like Star Wars role playing games, they'll speak English because it feels more Star Warsy, which is so like cool and interesting and weird. And I I love the the notion that like Swedish is okay to speak for role playing games because well it, in it, my head it's very much more a, a metal language. It's a very metal like yeah it is for sure for sure. Well, I don't see, no, I don't have a problem with it because, like, in my head, Swedish is like basically Elvish. So sure, like, oh, sure. cool! Like, yeah, this this makes sense. Like, yeah. But it's it's just it's so funny and weird that it's like yeah, Star Wars is in English. Like, duh, everyone knows that. Yeah, I mean, when they play them in other countries that don't speak English, do they have like two options? Like one English with yes. subtitle. Okay. They the, do. Um. In in I mean, in France anyway, that's the only thing that I know. But they have like the 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 VF the version. Française and okay. the, the VO, the version original. <laughs> it stinks to the England that we have the one version. Yeah. You think we, it was splurge. We saw in, we were in France and we saw a British movie in English okay. and it was called, I forget what it was called. It might've been called like wild. 
Target or something. <laughs> it was it it had like Bill Nye he Nye yeah and and Rupert Grant and maybe um Emily Blunt okay and it was like a weird kind of caper movie okay and I guess it did not do well over there oh that's a shame and then they released it here with like a totally different name and it was called Ocean's Eleven yeah <laughs> but it was just it was just funny that they like. We'll try again, like with a, with something oh, different. Oh wow! It Wait, was, so was it a different name or was it a different like everything? It was a different name, same okay. exact movie, just a different so. Name. What was that Tom Cruise movie? Uh, Live, Die, Repeat. Yeah, which they just did here. They just changed the name here. They, exactly. Yeah, but they changed it to on the Blu-ray or whatever. Mm-hmm. What, what was the? It was like Edge of Tomorrow. Edge of Tomorrow. That's a much better name, but it, it's a worse description. Mm-hmm. Um, the other thing that I saw is there was the movie. Um, Oh, I forget what it was called. It was like Catherine Heigl and Ashton Kutcher, and it was it was called like Boss's Day Out, Assassin Assassin Lovers or something. It was like I think they're both like hitmen <laughs> or something. Assassin Lovers, yeah. And then we we were in um, Europe. I forget which where specifically, but we saw like a billboard mm-hmm. for it, and it was called Kiss and Kill. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You want to get an article? Yeah. I I mean, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Period one element. A period one element is one of the chemical elements in the first row or period of the periodic table of the chemical elements. The periodic table is laid out in rows to illustrate periodic recurring trends in the chemical behavior of the elements as their atomic number increases. A new row is begun when the chemical behavior begins to repeat, meaning that elements with similar behavior fall into the same vertical columns. The first period contains fewer elements than any row in the table with only two, hydrogen and helium. That's fun. How, how many elements can you name in, in order? In order? Yeah. Uh, uh, helium? I, I can't. Already wrong, but <laughs> and I Shit. straight no. up just said it. Uh, hydrogen? Mm-hmm. Helium? Mm-hmm. Higher... Car, car, cardamom, 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 uh, simamom, simamom. <laughs> I, I, I only know like five or six. I mean, uh, in order, you mean? I was gonna say I can have five or six elements: uh, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron. My wife. <laughs> Smell you later. <laughs> can we do that? Why not? Yeah. It's our damn fuck. Homemade clothes. I bet you could. Oh, I'm sure. Damn, that might be a, that might be a little industry, a little cottage industry for you. Um, I'm t- I'm telling Some you, money on the side. You should try. You should try clothes. I, I've been I've been down since you told me about them all those years ago. Mm-hmm. Homemade clove cigarettes. How to make clove cigarettes or Craytech. Craytech. Oh, that sounds like some like thirtieth century shit. Loose leaf tobacco and whole cloves. That's easy. We could probably get that right now at Morse Market. I mean, not really, but you know what I mean. You could definitely get cloves there. <clears throat> you just mash you it, it up. You just mash it. it up and mix it together. You got stuff too, baby. Or you could just, you know, get buy the cigarettes. And it's a lot less work. Can you imagine like pulling that like baggie of homemade clothes and making your own cigarettes on the fucking L, dude? Just trying to get people to look at you. Rolling your <laughs> rolling. Oh, me? The cloves. It's whatever. You smell that? <laughs> it's very aromatic. <laughs> rolling your own cigarettes. If if you have a certain look, mm. rolling your own cigarettes very much elevates it. If you do not have that look, yes, it it like if you dress the way we just described, bad bad look. look. I feel like the only people who could do it would be like. Like a biker or something. Yeah. Like, really? Yeah. You know? Leather jacket. You roll yes. your own fucking cigarette. Like, even you like hipster dudes, I'm like, nah, not really. Lick the, lick the edge, mm-hmm. seal it up, and then, you, I mean, you light it with a strike anywhere match. That you strike at the bottom of your edge in your boots. Yeah. Yeah, that's good shit. Fuck. Yeah, that's good. I like that. And then you die on Dead Man's Curve. That's a good one. Smoking look. rules. Thank you for playing Arcade Audio. Play more at arcadeaudio.net.